Now, for us, winter's impact has been far more, though, than just the snow. Absolutely. People are starting to realize the real cost to this cold 2014. Fox 11's Eric Peterson joins us now live from our ICE desk to explain. Eric? Good evening, Michelle. In the Marinette County community of Amberg, a propane shortage is showing little signs of letting up. People there have been using electric heaters in their homes for months, and all those kilowatts are starting to add up. Bob Mathis says he ran out of propane gas about two weeks ago. Electric baseboards and portable heaters keep his home at a comfortable 68 degrees. At the nearby hardware store, Red Klingman has a similar story. Electric heaters at his house have been running and running. Those we talked to today say they aren't looking forward to their upcoming bill. My bill last month was like uh, 112, so maybe I'm at 250-300. I'll know after a month where I come out. We have an electric fireplace that's been going on forever, and uh, I'm afraid that our electric bill is going to be very, very high. Now, some people in the area are looking at different ways to heat their homes and getting away from the need for propane. One of those ideas is burning wood pellets, but that will take a significant commitment from the homeowner. The furnace and vents will run around $1,700, and professional installation is recommended. If there is any hope, national average propane prices are dropping. They were about $4 late last month. Now they're down to about $375. Tom?